Hi, the beautiful. You look absolutely stunning today. Thank you for being here. Cap highlighting scares the shit out of me. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've had one or two bad run-ins with cap highlights. And by one or two, I mean probably 25. I haven't done that many cap highlights in my life, actually. Um, I think I ended it at like, after I did like five of them and it was like, this is probably not gonna work out ever again. Let me stop ruining people's heads with this thing that is cap highlighting. If you don't know what cap highlighting is, well, I'm glad you're here. Cap highlighting was huge in the 90s to the early 2000s and some people still use caps for highlighting today believe it or not i've been seeing more and more professional hairstylists use cap highlights in our current day and time <music> I don't know what to think about that, to be honest with you. I am just a little confused about the whole thing. I don't know if it's just for show. I don't know if we are doing it because it looks cool. I just can't comprehend what's going on. And I thought what better way to try and comprehend what's going on than to try it out myself on Miss Manny Quinn because she, uh, I'm a girl. Um, she will do anything I ask her to do. Well, actually I don't really ask her to do anything. I actually just do it and um, hopefully she's okay with it. But usually we get along after we have a few fights and then I apologize and then she's kind of over it. Thanks girl, love you so much. Cap highlighting is notorious to be a streaky, random, junky highlight as depicted here in these photos of people doing their cap highlights. Very 90s, 2000s feeling, Britney Spears with the chunky highlights. If that's your vibe, that's your vibe. However, people are using it in a different way now. Here is some videos of people doing cap highlighting in a artistic manner, right? They are highlighting but then they're using toners and, or glosses, whatever you want to call it, to then bring down those highlights and kind of melt everything together and create a beautiful overall blonde effect. And then there's the people at home doing their cap highlights, right? Across the board, we have professionals doing it. We have people at home doing it, doing it okay. And then we have people at home doing it and it's just coming out terrible and reminding me of 90s, early 2000s. I haven't done cap highlighting since I was in hair school. Maybe not even then. I can't remember the last time I did it. it it was a long time ago, but I want to get back into it. I want to see what's going on. I want to see what all the hype's about. I want to see if maybe you should be doing this to your hair. Maybe this is the next best thing to doing a fast highlight on a person's head and doing a lot of them at once. I'm skeptical. However, I'm always open to learning and growing as a hairdresser. So I thought, why not follow an at-home cap highlighting tutorial today? Because what better way to learn than through somebody who has no idea what they're doing? I mean, what better? way. Tell me. I don't see one. So let's see if cap highlighting is something that I should bring back into my hairdressing toolbox, if you will. Let's do it. So as I just explained, it's been a while since I've done a cap highlight. We're gonna watch uh, Gina Helena Mary and her video is called Brunette to Blonde Highlights at Home. Can't wait to see it and it has a ton of views. <laughs> Back in 2015, I guess that was the thing to do. And then after that, Miss Manny Quinn is about to get a beautiful makeover. I'm sorry in advance, okay? It might not look that good, but hopefully it does, okay? You good? All right, let's see how Gina cap highlights her hair at home. Today we're gonna put some highlights in my boring hair. You don't wanna mess up your clothes. Okay. But I prefer the shirt because you can move a bit easier. She's starting with the same kind of color my mannequin is. In a way, you like to wear it. I always have my hairline in the middle, so okay. that's how I'm gonna Middle. Do. But you can also make a section on the side of your head. Okay, wait, let me do that first. So Miss Mannequin is going to get a center part because I think that she looks fierce with a center part, all right? Boom, she is centered, hello. <laughs> okay, what's next? Brush it again and make sure there are no tangles. Throw all of that hair in the back and put on the very charming cap that comes with the highlight box. Also in the box is this comb with small hook on it. With this, we're gonna pull out all of the hairs. I got it. Can you see it? This <laughs> time I did this, I thought it was pretty hard. I got my tools, so you okay. Take your time and be patient. <sighs> You do want to come to the roots of your hair as much as possible. She is going in and she is pulling that hair through the cap. You 
slightly see my hairline in the middle of okay that's important because it will keep the highlights even divided on your head there is nothing even about this i'm so sorry but there's not <laughs> She's lifting all that highlighted hair up. She's putting the hair underneath the cap into a ponytail. And now she's gonna go in and lighten it. And she's using box dye, of course. Uh, of course. How is she gonna apply this? Just put it all over, I'm guessing? What stops the color from seeping through the holes? I guess nothing. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> That's a lot of hair that she's highlighting also. It's going to be a dramatic result. She is going in with that lightener, babe. She is going in, she is coloring every single strand and she's going for it. I can't wait to see the outcome of this. Oh, actually it doesn't look bad. I mean, it's definitely streaky. Is it the worst highlight I've ever seen? No. As a hairdresser, I definitely see many flaws. However, she looks beautiful. That one piece though, <laughs> that's real light is getting me. I mean, listen, it definitely worked. I, however, want to see kind of the results in real life and see what actually happens. I'm going to put the cap on Miss Manny Quinn here and start pulling the hairs through the cap and I'll give you an update on how that's going. Let's get started. Her hair is so pretty. I'm going to miss it. So then we put this onto her head. This just feels all sorts of wrong. Yes, little red riding hood work. She's going to hate hate me after this. Okay, well, I think that is exactly how it's supposed to be on there. And now we just start pulling out the hair through the holes that hopefully um pull out the hair in from the right spot, even though we have no idea where it's pulling it from. I don't get it. But it's all about experimentation and growing and learning. Everything about this feels wrong. Let's start right here and we'll just grab a piece of hair and pull it out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was slightly fun. That's a lot of holes. I'm gonna do the circled holes. So on this thing, you'll see that there are circular do you see how big of a chunk that just took out? How do you make it so it doesn't do that? That's better. Okay, okay, cool. That's one row complete. I did it. Let's move on. My question is, how do you make it less chunky? Okay, you just need to be delicate with it, I think. Delicate. Something I'm not. No, oh my god, it's like pulling out, uh, pulling out so much more hair than I want it to every single time. Okay, so now that we've done a few more rows, I am having just serious problems with breaking the bag. I'm really struggling. I really am trying, but I'm getting very inconsistent results. Like that piece of hair is so thin. This piece of hair is so thick. And then I try to go back in and dig for more and it just becomes way too much. So what do I do? How do I make this work? No, I don't want that whole piece of hair. What is this? We have like a little ponytail coming out of here now. Hello. That was way too much hair, I will admit. But there's no going back now. Maybe we can put this underneath this and pull the hair back out. Oh no, I'm pulling all the hair out. Actually looks better now. We're doing good. We're making moves right now, all right? I'm getting worried because what's happening is I'm putting kind of rather large holes into these perforated holes, um, which is going to result in the lightener bleeding through them. But I really am trying. No, come out of the hole, please. Sometimes no hair even comes out of the hole. All right, let's move on to the side and we'll finish the front after. Oh God. I'm supposed to do it all the way down here. Yo, she doesn't even have scalp down here. We're almost done. I finished. That was the quickest amount of time I've ever spent kind of highlighting somebody's hair. I haven't really put the lightener on yet, but pulling all the hair through was actually way faster than I thought it was gonna be and actually kind of felt nice. It was therapeutic. It was kind of fun. However, oh my God, was it inconsistent. There's like a ponytail coming through her head right here. It was really hard to get a consistent pull out of the cap. I um, mean, some of them have like loops at the end. I'm just worried about like banding and like streaking and probably not gonna be a pretty sight. But we are gonna try our best to make this look amazing and make this work. So I'm gonna mix up the lightener now, bring it back and start applying the lightener to her head and then we'll see. All right, we mix this and this together and got this. Now let's apply. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, totally. I can do this. That's it. Just just going for it. Just painting it right on that cap. All right. All right, let's do it. I mean, it's definitely fun. 
feels so wrong. Okay, so that is all applied. She has lightener on her entire head. That felt really weird to do. I just kind of plopped the lightener on, which doesn't feel normal. But we're gonna wait 35 minutes and see what kind of results we got. Maybe put a toner on it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Let's have fun with it, right? Okay, the processing has finished. Now for the best and most exciting and most satisfying part of all, taking the bag off the head. <laughs> People seem to be so shook by this every time they see videos of this process, and so am I. It's looking a little bit yellow, I'm not gonna lie, but... Oh, okay. It looks so weird. Oh, this is hard, okay. Okay, <laughs> she's definitely a little ramen noodle head. Oh my god, what? Ew. Yo, she's definitely blonde though, that is for sure. I'm gonna go shampoo this out, be right back. So here's the thing, I didn't <laughs> expect this outcome and I don't know what to say about it for so many reasons, but let me show you what it looks like. It doesn't look bad. And uh, I don't know what happened. It obviously doesn't look perfect, but I would allow somebody out of the salon looking like this 100%. That was the fastest, most effective highlighting I've ever done in my life. I mean, it was probably 10 minutes to fully pluck out all the hair through the holes, five minutes to put the color on, and then 30 minutes to let it sit. It was just a really fast process <laughs> comparing it to foiling. And let me just show you this color. I, <laughs> I, 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 was expecting this to come out bad. <laughs> it did not do that. So let's just talk about this really quickly. I don't want you guys to get ideas at home, all right? That this is the best idea ever, but I have to admit I was wrong. I really wasn't expecting this good of an outcome. I didn't even tone her hair. So you can imagine if I did, how good this would look. It would look even better. This isn't like salon quality foiling. 100% it's not. You're gonna get a way better foil job at a salon. I mean, she doesn't even have any face framing highlights. There's nothing going on over here. Okay, maybe there is. <laughs> but there's no like face, beautiful face framing highlights. It is slightly inconsistent. You know, there's chunky pieces over here. There's thin ones over here. But I have to admit, it doesn't look bad and it's definitely a viable option. The hairdressers everywhere are quaking right now. Listen, I was working on top of already blonde hair, adding highlights into it. So it's not gonna look too stripey because it was already blonde hair I was working on top of. If you're working on dark hair, this will look much more stripey and random. Overall, I can't be mad at this. This was the biggest shocker of a lifetime to be dramatic about it. I mean, she has a full foil highlight in a matter of an hour. I'll take it, man. <laughs> well guys, there you have it. That is cap highlighting. Did it work? Yes. Weirdly enough, it did. Is it perfect? No. Could it be better? 100%. But would I wear this hair on my head? Maybe. And that's good enough for me. Maybe cap highlighting is the future. What a journey that was today. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. I learned a lot and I love learning. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, follow my hair care brand, Xmondo Hair, and shop our hair products below at xmondohair.com to get beautiful, fabulous, glowing hair. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye.